Hello there YouTubers, this is Slybo Cat, and I wanted to share with you another radio that uh, I just recently got. This was a Father's Day present from my family um, to me. They know that I like old radios and uh, they sell this at a yard sale uh, the weekend before Father's Day so they decided to, to pick it up and surprise me with it which uh, I was very pleased when I got this on Father's Day. Um, it is a Crosley Model 66 TC. Uh, it was, uh, according to RadioMuseum.org, it was manufactured in 1945 through 1946, so I'm not sure what year this particular one is. Um, it's a six-tube unit. It's AM and short wave. Uh, it's got the two bands, and it's got a 66-tube uh, with a 6SA7, two 6SK7s, a 5Y3G, and a 6SQ7, so it's a six-tube set. Uh, some of these, I do believe, are metal tubes, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I already put the back onto it, so I can't really look into it to see for sure. Um, I did check it. Uh, um, I had to plug it in and try it out. I mean, that's just what you do when you get a radio. I, I don't recommend it, um, but um, a couple of things to look out for when you're, when you're getting an old radio like this. Make sure the power cord is not all brittle and falling apart. First thing I did was check that, and it was in good shape. But I also pulled the chassis out. And looked it over thoroughly to make sure there was nothing burned on it already or any uh, rodents been chewing on any of the components or anything and actually it looked really really good um, otherwise it is completely unrestored it is in original condition all the capacitors resistors uh, all the wiring is at original so again I don't recommend just plugging one of these in and trying it out because you could definitely have uh, a huge issue with fire or uh, something catastrophic happening in with the paper capacitors especially but uh, I did test this out uh, and it does work absolutely perfectly in the condition that it's in being all original um, I don't have any plans to restore this right now just right now I'm, I'm just relishing having it on my shelf because it really looks nice with my uh, with my radio collection so taking a closer look at it um, it looked like it had a crack in the front, but it's actually not a crack. This is a, it's a plastic uh, shield in the front, covers the dial. Uh, the knobs are all original, and they're in good shape. They're really dirty. What I do is I take them off, and I soak them in Dawn dishwashing liquid in water until all the stuff just kind of sloughs off of them, and then they uh, they dry up, clean up really nice, and I put them back on. There's a little bit of paint chipped at the bottom, and that's a black paint, but it's not too bad. Uh, there's no cracks in the plastic dial cover anywhere. The uh, speaker speaker cloth is in excellent condition. There's no snags or tears in it. Um, the cabinet itself looks a little dusty from here, but it was almost completely black with uh, it could have been nicotine from cigarette smoker, a lot of hand oils, things like that, especially around the knob area. You can see black rings around all the knobs from from handprints, fingerprints. Got all of that cleaned off. Um, it was just used a little bit of Windex and some paper towel and just gently rubbed it all off. Uh, there's a few little blemishes and scratches in it, but it's not terrible. I mean, this is this is a, a yard sale find. Looks like somebody uh, broke out a couple of the pieces of the back uh, for what, I don't know, but otherwise the back is intact. Um, power cord is original. No cracks, no rotting or anything. I did check it over thoroughly. Uh, it's got the wire for the short wave, which actually um, is just an old piece of lamp cord. It looks like somebody attached to it, but it works good. Um, looking down underneath here, there's some screw terminals. Those are actually for a phono input. You can actually hook a record player up to this. And on the front, it does have a switch to go between AM, short wave, and phono. I never tried the phono function on it, I just was more curious about the um, about the radio portion of it. Um, looking down in here, you can kind of see there is a power supply. That is a pretty big power supply. It's in great shape. The wiring on it was in, in, intact. It's not rusty looking. Um, and it just it, overall, this looked really good. And there again, you can see some of the metal tubes. There's a couple of the metal tubes right there. Um, but overall, it looks looks really good. One of the rubber feet on the bottom is missing. It probably just rotted and came off. But uh, 
this looks like a dual speaker set but uh, actually there's a speaker just on one side and then the other side if you look inside the cabinet there's a, a blank piece of wood covering up the hole uh, so like it possibly could have been a double a, you know a double speaker set uh, maybe a more premium one with more features might have had two speakers but this one definitely just has the one and it is a permanent magnet speaker it's not a uh, doesn't have a field coil or anything so next I'm going to do a short demonstration of how this radio works and I say short because I don't want to run it very long uh, with it being all the original components inside I don't want to have something catastrophic happen here and ruin a tube because a component failed but uh, one thing I want to emphasize be ready to shut the power off just in case something happens. I always plug into a uh, surge protector of some sort so that I have a switch access immediately. If something starts happening that's not right, boom, I can pop the power off right away. Not to say it's going to stop any damage, but it's going to certainly stop something prolonged uh, if you can hit it right away. So always have something ready to be able to cut the power if necessary. So here we go, this is Mike Crosley. We're going to uh, tune in a few radio stations and uh, the clarity on this uh, on this radio is an incredibly uh, defined. It's, it's got great tone. Uh, just overall, it's a good radio. It's not one of those cheap uh, Chinese-made Crosleys that you see today. Um, I know a lot of people are really critical and criticize uh, and, and just slap the Crosley company around for their cheap record players and all-in-one units and everything, but um, I'm not going to do that because that's not the kind of person I am. And I actually own one of those cheap Crosleys, and I actually like it. So, here we go. We're gonna we're gonna check this out. It's got dual uh, dial lights, one on either side, light up very nicely. I actually think it's got one in the middle too, if I'm not mistaken. Know that God loves you in this journey, pretty much so. More Very God clear stations have pulled in so far. Looks like a perfect pitch, ball one. Let's have Kellogg, our home plate umpire today. Rather coarseness of our culture nowadays. Now we're going to switch over to uh, short wave. They bring about what they call the faith formula. And here's the faith formula. They say, say it, believe. If I had a better antenna, I could probably pick up more. But for the few stations it does pick up on shortwave, it's pretty strong. And I think that's about all I want to get off of that. So now let's go back to this lower band here. Might find something. I'm 
There's something in Spanish. Well, anyway, you get the point. So there you go. There's my Crosley, my 1945, 1945 Crosley. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll try to get some more out here soon.